Welcome to part 2 of e-learning webinar presenting the AKTS Thermokinetics TK software. In the first part of presentation of TK software, we explained the evaluation of the kinetic parameters of the investigated reaction. In part 2, we are going to present the application of these kinetic parameters for the predictions of the reaction course. For the prediction of the reaction course at any temperature profile click the icon prediction. The different possibilities of prediction at different temperature profiles are presented here. The AKTS thermokinetics software offers a wide range of possibilities, from isothermal mode, where the temperature is kept constant, to customized temperature profiles, which are very useful when working for example with data loggers monitoring temperature and humidity. Click on the tab Non-ISO to display the prediction of the reaction rate and progress under non-isothermal conditions and specify the starting temperature and the heating rate. In the presented simulation, the heating rate 0.25 Kelvin per minute and the starting temperature is 20 degrees Celsius. To adjust the axis vertically, click the right mouse button. This figure displays the predicted reaction rate and reaction progress in the form of normalized signals as a function of temperature under non-isothermal conditions with a heating rate of 0.25 Kelvin per minute. Units displayed on the plot can be chosen from the window appearing after clicking the right mouse button. For example, it is possible to express the reaction progress in joule per gram and the reaction rate in watt per gram. To display the heat flow and the amount of evolved heat as a function of time the user should click the right mouse button. Below are presented the predictions of the reaction course in isothermal temperature mode. Click the icon prediction. Click on the tab ISO to display the simulation of the reaction rate and reaction progress under isothermal conditions. Enter the lowest temperature required. In the example shown it is 50 degrees Celsius. Introduce the temperature difference between the isotherms, in this example it is 5 degrees Celsius. And specify the number of isotherms, in presented prediction 15 isotherms will be displayed. It is also possible to calculate the maximal heat release rate. The temperature dependence of the maximal rate of the heat release is shown in the inset. The predicted reaction rates in bottom plot and the reaction progresses as normalized signals shown in the top graph are displayed as a function of time. The temperature values in degrees Celsius are marked on the curves. The user can change the size of the plot using the mouse wheel. This slide presents the dependence of the maximal heat release rate on temperature. The software allows to fit a polynomial curve to a set of displayed data points. The degree of the polynomial can be chosen from the polynomial dialog box displayed after right-clicking on the data. The software allows creating of a time temperature transformation TTT, diagram. The TTT diagram, based on the kinetic parameters used during predictions, displays the temperature time dependence for any arbitrarily chosen reaction extent. For building the TTT diagram uncheck the option isothermal and check the option TTT. This TTT diagram, based on the kinetic parameters used for the isothermal predictions displayed in the former slides, presents the temperature time dependence for various reaction extents. The green line on the displayed TTT diagram presents the dependence between time and temperature for the decomposition extent alpha of 50%. The plot shows that the reaction extent of 50% is reached after 30 hours at 75 degrees Celsius or after 1000 hours at 35 degrees Celsius. 
The advantages of TTT diagrams can be presented in more detail in the slide when time temperature dependencies are displayed for a few reaction extents, in this example 50 and 95%. One can select the desired temperature or time and read the TTT diagram as follows. For the temperature of 75 degrees Celsius the reaction extent amounts to 50% after 30 hours and 95% after 50,000 hours. Note the logarithmic scale on the time axis. For a chosen time of 1000 hours, the decomposition extent amounts to 50% at a temperature of 35 degrees Celsius and 95% at 95 degrees Celsius. This TTT diagram presents the temperature time dependence for various reaction extents. The next slides show how one can customize the display of TTT diagram. The displayed curves show the time temperature dependence for the set of the reaction extents. The thick green line presents the dependence between time and temperature for the reaction extent of 50%. Using TTT diagram we can quickly evaluate that at 120 degrees Celsius, half of the material is decomposed in one hour. At 88 degrees Celsius, the same reaction extent is reached after 10 hours. At 62 degrees Celsius, the decomposition extent of 50% occurs after 100 hours and after 1,000 hours at 40 degrees Celsius. Finally, 50% of the reaction progress is reached after 10,000 hours at about 21 degrees Celsius. Thus, to summarize, in our example, the decomposition extent of the material exposed for 10 hours at 88 degrees Celsius will correspond to its decomposition extent after 10,000 hours at 21 degrees Celsius. In other words, if we want to know how much our material will be decomposed after 10,000 hours at 21 degrees Celsius, we have to check its decomposition extent after 10 hours at 88 degrees Celsius. The display of the annotations can be customized after clicking the right mouse button. After customizing the display of one annotation, the next right-click opens copy style box which allows applying the same display style to other annotations. The mutual dependence time temperature reaction extent which is displayed as a graph in TTT diagram may also be presented numerically using the option quick ISO predictions. The examples presented in this video TK part 2 clearly illustrate the advantages of the application of advanced kinetics for the prediction of the reaction course in isothermal and non-isothermal conditions. In the part 3 of TK webinar, we are going to present the prediction of the reaction course, it means the thermal stability of the materials under user-customized temperature profiles such as Stepwise Temperature Mode and Modulated Temperature Mode. 